Find the constant of proportionality. Remember to find k, we use y divided by x. So in this one, we would have 1 divided by 3 for a constant of proportionality of 1 third. There are going to be several that come out to whole numbers. If that's the case, please turn them into a whole number. And then there will be a, a couple that are going to remain fractions. Please reduce these fractions. They should be pretty simple to reduce. One third is already in its reduced form. Go ahead and complete the remaining five. Here it says, what do you notice and what do you wonder? Here I have an original picture and a scaled picture. I notice that these are the same picture. But they are different sizes. I wonder why they changed the size. Um, you might also wonder if anything changed in the picture, but they look pretty similar. Do you think the scaled figure is an enlargement or a reduction of the original? The word enlargement has the word large in it. And reduction, you can think of to reduce something usually means to make it smaller. So if the original is here, the scaled version is larger. What do you think would be different if the scaled figure was a reduction of the original figure? I think if it was a reduction, the scaled figure would be smaller than the original. Here it says, what patterns do you notice between the corresponding lengths shown in the table? So here is a segment, and here is the enlarged version of that segment. Let's click on New Segment, and we're going to make it maybe the whole way across the picture. And then we're going to click Try It to get the measurement in the next one. And we need one more segment. This time I want the height. And we will try it over here. We can show all of the segments. What do we notice? What do we wonder? I notice that there might be a relationship between the original length and the enlargement length. I wonder if there's some sort of constant of proportionality. What might corresponding mean? Well, in these segments, they lined up in the other picture. The corresponding might mean in the same location or matched up or maybe aligned. They're in similar locations. This says Maya measures the distance between the sailboat 
and the blue umbrella and notes that it is 2.6. Make a prediction about the length of the segment in the scaled figures. Well, I know 6 times 3 is 18, so 0. 0.6 times 3 would be 1.8, and 2 times 3 is 6, so I think there is some kind of relationship here. So I might be thinking 2.6 times 3 would tell me the length in the corresponding one. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and 0.6 times 3 was 1.8. So this should be 7.8. How did you make your prediction? I was thinking that 3 might be the constant of proportionality. I used that to multiply 2.6 times 3 which is 7.8. A scale drawing is a copy of a figure with all distances proportional to corresponding distances in the original figure. So that means all the distances in the original figure are multiplied by that proportionality, that constant of proportionality. This says in a scale drawing, the constant of proportionality is called a scale factor. So it's the same K value, now it just has a different name. So in pictures, we call K the scale factor, but in equations, tables, or graphs, we use K as the constant of proportionality. They're referring to the same thing, just in different contexts. Do you think the scaled figure is an enlargement or a reduction of the original figure? Well, since the scaled one is smaller than the original, this would be a reduction. All right, I want to measure across the structure. Okay, how about the height of the building? All righty, how about diagonal? in the picture. So you can see the corresponding segments are the same color and they're in the same section of the photo. Liam measures the distance between the top of the building and the bottom of the building and notes it has 2.3. Make a prediction about the length of the segment in the scale drawing. Well, I actually already did this one, but if you had used a different measure, we could figure it out by looking at what the scale factor might be or what that constant of proportionality could be. Here I have 6 and 3. If I were to divide 
3 divided by 6 is a scale factor or a constant of proportionality of 1 half. So half of 2.3, well half of 2 is 1, and half of 30 is 15. Or you can think of half of 3 as 1.5. We use the scale factor of 1 half to multiply 2.3 by a half, which is 1.15. That's another way to represent a half. We could also use 0 0.5. Select the figures that are scaled that are a scale drawing of this original picture. These both appear to be the same picture, but A is a squished version and B appears to be a stretched out version. In order to be a scale drawing, you have to use the same scale or the same constant of proportionality in both directions. So you're stretching it across, across and up and down. This one appears to have just stretched it up and down and this one just across. Explain how you knew which figures were scale drawings of the original figure. They look the same, but in different sizes. It says which, if any, are, re are enlargements. D looks slightly larger. and which, if any, are reductions. C is smaller, so it would be a reduction. And how do you know? D is slightly larger, and C is smaller than the original. Here, D and A appear to use a scale factor in both directions. A and D look like they scaled in both directions. A would be a reduction as it is smaller, and D would be an enlargement because it is larger than the original. These two pandas appear to be scale drawings of one another. B appears to be an enlargement, and C appears to be a reduction. The explanation for these is going to be pretty much the same as before. This one says, Pedro compared the side lengths and concluded that these triangles are not scale drawings. Is Pedro correct, and why do you think so? So these are tilted. Pedro compared 16 and 4 together, so this number and this number, and he compared 3 and 20, this number here and this number here, and 5 and 12, so 5 and 12. And he said the scale factors are not the same. However, I think Pedro is incorrect. because four should correspond to 16, so he got that part right, but three would correspond to 12. If we were to tip that triangle on its point, 
3 and 12 would be matched up, not 3 and 20. So he did not compare the corresponding sides. If he did line them up right, 16 divided by 4 would be 4. He would have matched up 12 and 3, while 12 divided by 3 is also 4. And he would have also compared 20 and 5. Well, 20 divided by 5 is also 4. And he would have saw, would have seen or noticed that the scale factor was 4 for all of the sides. So it's very important to make sure that you line up corresponding sides to compare them so you can verify whether or not the scale factor matches up for all of those. If the scale factor is the same, like how these all came out to 4, then we say yes, it is a, a scale drawing. But if they didn't match up, like if Pedro had completed this correctly and he got 16 and 4, 20 and 3, and 12 and 5, then this would not be a scale drawing because 16 divided by 4 is not the same as 20 divided by 3 or 12 divided by 5. Please make sure that you take note that a constant of proportionality in a picture problem is now called a scale factor. Also, make sure you complete the warm-up in your composition book and fill in any information needed in your workbook.